here I'd like to discuss a special type of goods which are going to be the primary commodities and see what is their price elasticity of demand and price elasticity of supply. So first of all the primary commodities would be the raw materials utilized in the manufacturing of goods. So over here we will have raw materials, raw materials utilized in manufacturing of goods manufacturing of final goods I'll say final goods because the primary commodities themselves are also goods but they're primary they're not final this is just the initial stage of production by utilizing the raw materials manufacturing of final goods now for instance over here consider the coffee beans used in production of coffee so with that being said, let's consider the price elasticity of demand. Who is demanding these primary commodities? It's going to be the manufacturing industries. It's going to be the firms that need those materials in order to produce those goods. So for instance, if we are a firm producing coffee and we make our money by selling our coffee, then even though the price might increase on the market for coffee beans, okay, even there is a change in price for this primary commodity, the coffee firms still has to buy it because it's their only raw material that is possible to utilize or let's say it's one of the very few raw materials that is possible to utilize in other words raw materials have very few substitutes raw materials are quite necessary very necessary in order to produce the finished goods we cannot really substitute them for many other commodities so commodities have low Commodities have few substitutes, okay? Commodities have few substitutes. As a result of this, okay? Substitutes. As a result of this, they are very necessary, okay? They are very necessary. And I believe that this logic follows us to the conclusion that if they are so necessary and we cannot really substitute them for many other commodities, then firms are willing to pay higher prices. They are willing to pay them because they are forced to. They have to utilize those materials in the production of their final goods. In other words, the price elasticity of demand is fairly inelastic for primary commodities. Okay, PED is fairly or let's say relatively inelastic. Okay, relatively in elastic now let's discuss the other concept the price elasticity of supply so the firms that supply these raw materials the firms that are able to sell them what do they do when there is a price change for instance what if the coffee beans become more expensive and the coffee beans producers would be able to make more revenue by selling them the thing is, even though they would like to sell more, they are quite limited to the quantity that they can sell on the market because they have to grow them first. Raw materials take time to produce. They take time to deliver. So, for instance, coffee beans take time to harvest, to grow. Wood, if we, if we produce wood as a primary commodity in the manufacturing of furniture, for instance, we need to be able to find... a uh, forestry area where we have the permission to chop the trees and have the capital and labor necessary to refine those trees into a finished uh, into a primary commodity like wood that can be utilized later on in the production of furniture so therefore from a supplier standpoint it's relatively difficult to increase the supply fast okay so it's relatively difficult relatively difficult to increase the supply to increase the supply of primary commodities increase the supply of primary commodities of primary commodities due to time constraints okay due to time constraints we need more time in order to create these commodities due to time constraints as a conclusion from this logic we could argue that the price elasticity of supply is relatively inelastic inelastic and that would be it hope this all makes sense and we are done